Hi friends and welcome to Art with Mrs. Buffo. Today we're going to be creating this awesome image that almost looks like it's been tie-dyed. We'll be working with some really neat new art materials, including this thing called bleeding tissue paper. Don't worry, it doesn't actually bleed on you. It doesn't get cut, it doesn't get hurt. What it means is that the color transfers from the tissue paper onto whatever is below it. And that's gonna be our garden that we're gonna create. I'm so excited to share this with you. The other art concept we're talking about today is that of variety. It's a really fun word that I can't wait to explore with you. Let's get started. We're gonna start this project using a piece of white plain paper and some permanent markers, a variety of colors. We'll get to that word variety in a minute. We're gonna be drawing lots of different types of flowers today. Any type that your brain can come up with. They don't have to be like flowers we see in nature. I want you to use your imaginations. Let them run wild with your flowers. That brings us straight to our art concept of variety. This is defined as the quality or state of being different or diverse. The absence of uniformity, sameness, or monotony. So it's the opposite of that word. As you can see in each of these pictures, there's something that is different about each aspect. Look at the donuts. No two donuts are the same. That means there are a variety of donuts displayed in that image. Let's see what we can do with this variety art concept in our images today. Let's see how many different types of flowers I can make. I'm making a variety of flowers in a variety of colors. Do you see how each flower looks a little different? If I think about our bodies and how God has made us, he has not made two people the same. And that's something that is absolutely beautiful. Just like our flowers aren't the same, people aren't the same either. That's what makes life interesting. To add further visual interest to our image, we're gonna be using bleeding tissue paper to add color. Bleeding tissue paper is defined as a type of thin gauzy paper, which is colored. When wetted, the color bleeds onto the surface beneath. Some of our third grade friends have already given us small pieces of bleeding tissue paper to use on our project today. For this portion of our project, we're gonna need a paintbrush and some water. You're going to be painting water onto the paper, sticking a piece of tissue paper on top of that wet spot, then painting water on top. This is going to fully infuse that tissue paper with water. This is when that bleeding concept comes into place. As the water wets down whatever pigment is on the tissue paper, it's gonna transfer that color to the white paper underneath. After you let it dry, you'll be able to remove those pieces of tissue paper and see the beautiful background that you've created on your image. It's kind of interesting because guess what? We are doing our background last. Sometimes we do our background first and we see what the background's gonna look like before the image is done. But with this, we really don't know until we have our big reveal. Here comes the hard part, guys. We have to wait and let this completely dry to really let that color bleed through that tissue paper onto our paper. We might have to wait until the next class to do this next step, but it'll be worth the wait, I promise. Now that I've let my project dry completely, it's time to remove those pieces of tissue paper. Please don't throw them away. I'm gonna collect them and use them for a different project later. <gasps> wow, look at all that color that bled through. Isn't that amazing? To give my piece of art a nice finished look, I stapled it to a piece of black paper and added my name on the bottom. Guess what, friends? I didn't make up this art lesson. I got it from these two amazing educators, Cassie Stevens and Stephanie Sosaman. Thank you for sharing your lesson. This has been Art with Mrs. Buffo. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.